Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of More Time. Uh, in between, I just hit the next day button, and I uh, lucked out, got another light armor. So one of these guys will be just a little tankier. Also, less likely to climb though, but hey. Alright, I think we are ready to go on another mission. Got poor, poor, poor. Wow. Crystal will, wordstone rush. Don't like that. Uh, we'll go with this one. I don't really use scouts very often. Hopefully, I'm not the one that spooked, but it's a good chance that I will be. Oh no! Hey. Normally, I don't luck out, and I'm the one that's been spooked. And my guys are all scattered. This isn't as bad for Skaven as for others, like I said. For Skaven, it's all about that mobility. I do like watching this game, especially if you do like uh, jump downs, they do a little backflip. Which is kind of funny if they fail, because they just land on their back. Alright. Oh, it's the undead. I hate dealing with the undead. Because I've only dealt with the undead a handful of times with the AI. But normally it just loads up on zombies. And uh, when you take... Oh, what the hell is this? Okay, never mind then. Alright, let's see. Check the map. Apparently I can see... His, oh, I can see one of their guys. Their uh, hero. He's over there. I... Why can't I see in there? Hmm. Let me guess. This is a map where all the... Yep. All the weird stone is in one spot. I'm going to regret this so much, aren't I? Alright. I'm going to try and use this guy to book it for the weird stone. And go at it alone. He didn't... Hmm. I'm going to go back and try and cut this a little closer if I can. Because in this game, since it is like point-based movement, if you do it right, you can get like, you can squeeze extra distance out of all your movement. Do I want to hug the wall? Or go like this. I'm gonna go like this and try and cut it sharp around this corner. Just get me the smidge closer. That's the closest I'm getting. Okay then, let's just sneak him in here and go into ambush stance. Okay, he's not very likely to get assaulted, and I'm. Should be able to snag some weird stone and run. I might just. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna keep my Skaven balled up. I don't wanna spread them out. Just gonna have them all move towards my Night Runner over here. It's not very good to split these guys up. They're not super strong on their own. Oh. Oh, he spawned up on like a second story. Is there any uh, loot up here? No. Oh no. So that little crown symbol is their leader. He's pretty close to my leader and my hero, and he has the ability to inflict fear, which just paralyzes you. You can't do anything. He also has poison immunity, and he doesn't. He doesn't get fear. It's it's kind of BS. Don't fail this. He failed. Yeah, that's what you get. Being a little show off the backflip. Alright. Let's go. Try and get everybody together. Nick it stab. Maybe I'll rename these guys. Apparently, one of their zombies is taking its turn. The zombies aren't too powerful, though. They don't hit especially hard. Their movement's not very great. But they're just easy cannon fodder. And they make good meat shields. They have a good chunk of health. Like I said, when they go down, it's not any uh, damage to your morale. I don't think I explained how the morale system works yet. So normally how you get enemies to, like, how you beat your enemies is by killing enough of their units, which drops their morale. The little blue and red bar in the top left. The blue is mine, red is theirs. If you drop that 
below like the little crosshair in the middle, then uh, they have a chance to rout, which means that they will just abandon the mission. They'll quit. You win. Game over. Well, it's very hard to do that to the undead because, like I said, those zombies don't count for any. They will drop and it doesn't matter. It's just a corpse, which is kind of bad for me. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stage this guy in between. I'm not going to take him as far. Because in case somebody jumps that... Oh... Okay, hold on a second. My little brother's needs in. And hopefully nothing bad happens while I'm gone. All right, I am back. Sorry about that. Little brother thought the back door was open because the dog was outside. Uh, all right. So it looks like nothing bad happened. Checking that little log up in the top right. So I'll just come over here. Interact. No. I want to be able to get the big one. No. Let me have what I want. Oop. Whoa. Oh, it is just determined to not to let me have that cluster, isn't it? There we go. Take this. So how this works is there's like three different sizes. There's clusters, which is the big one right in front of me. It's like a weight of 15 or whatever. The little ones, which are one, and then the medium ones, which are five. You receive shipments shipment requests you have to send in so much if you send in excess you get more pay and more reputation with who you send it to all right so I know where their leader I could just try and swarm their leader I'm gonna get this guy ready back around here is that door open it is uh, makes me uncomfortable Uh, it's the end of his range. Let's see, come on. Let's get this way. A swarming of vampires is never a good idea. But it's really the only way I can deal with him. The best way, in my opinion, to deal with him is ranged. You can just bow him down from a distance. And he failed the terror test, which means he's very unlikely to hit. He's going to have like nothing left to dodge with. And hey, he missed. That's always nice. I mean, he gets a one-handed, so he's using his sword, so he gets three attacks, I think. Or not. Don't like where he's at, though, because I can't, I can't swarm him as easy. Where he's set up is kind of... I can only squeeze in so many Skaven. Oh, I can, ooh, good, good, good. My leader passed the terror test. I got a crit. Oh, that's so nice. The good thing about the undead is if you can't take down their leader, that's so much of their freaking morale. Because since those zombies don't count for anything, they don't count to adding points to it either. So they have just a small morale pool, but oh no. Oh no, I can't squeeze anybody through here. Can't. Oh no. Uh, is there a way through here? Yes, there is. I don't know if we'll be able to make around and into the fight. And if there's even, there might be like an enemy out here somewhere. Keep an eye out. I think I see a ghoul over there. I do indeed. It's not something I want to deal with. How do you fail a terror test? See? Oh, why did I delay? I should just end the turn, whatever. 
So that symbol is the ghoul. It's probably the guy I saw over there. Yep. Oh, he's in an ambush dance. That's that's nice. The ghouls are like the undeads equivalent to the Skaven. They're very evasive. And not a ton of health, but they deal good damage. Uh, I don't want that zombie to get over here. However, ghouls do have an impact on morale. So, they also have a natural debuff. I forget what it does. It's like a hit chance or something like that. You can stack like three times, I think. Or is it five? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of recording right now, though. Oh, I don't need a ride till, four, till like, four. Alright. Thank you for the heads up. Hmm. Is there an opening in this house? There is. Not? There is. It's, it's just weird. More time. Uh architecture at its finest folks. Uh, can I see that guy around the corner? Where's he further ahead? Where's he behind me? Yeah, I'm confused. One second. Where's the guy at? Yeah, he's behind. Oh, there's the zombie. Let's see, where's their cart at? Oh, it's all the way up there. Alright, this guy might be on a potential suicide mission. We'll see what happens. In every warband's cart, there is an idol. If you take it, you drop the morale, and whoever steals it gets like a increase to movement, like a decrease to certain costs. The, is that a halibird? Stun recovery. He should only get one hit. Good. If I can just take him down. Okay, it can get through over here. However, he's gonna have to deal with two people in ambush stance. Actually, I can actually like just straight up bypass his ambush by doing that. Oh, I missed. Which I think means he gets eight. No, he doesn't. Okay, thought he got a counter attack. There we go. Did some damage. And to throw myself in dodge, and hopefully my leader passes the terror test again. Oh, of course he didn't. I think he only gets one hit. Yep. Alright, he's putting in damage. That's good at least. I think it's his turn next. Oh, come on, could you not fail the terror test? I just need them to pass. Benayamans. Dude's name is close to mine. He said zombies got a terrible hit chance and everything. Dodge chance. But they make excellent meat shields. Like I said, those guys hit hard. Ugly little sons of guns. And there's another zombie coming on in to ruin my day. Alright, how far is he? Go, go, go. It's right here. Hmm. Second. Let's see if I can't squeeze some more out of this. Nope, I'm not going to get it. <sighs> Dang it. And there's, I might not win this one. Ugh. It's not looking good, folks. Just pass the tank test and slap the guy with your spear. Because we're about to start dropping like flies in a second. Uh, it's 
not good. Okay, that's good. Missed. Miss. Yay for Skaven evasion. We could just hit him. Oh, he failed his all alone check. That's not good. Yes, okay, if I can get both. If, I think I only need one good hit. Take him down, take him down. Yes! Alright, I am in a so much better position right now. Uh, bow, shield, dagger, and those are really particularly interesting to me. I don't think I can squeeze anybody in to help him unless I take the long route. Let's go, though. Oh, he's in an ambush stance, isn't he? There we go. Dodge stance. But there's... He's dead. I still get the stupid terror test. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah. Scratch it there. Might go down. We tried. Miss. Swing and a miss. Uh, this game's whole, like, thing, that stuff. Okay, he's still alive. He's not dead yet. That is good. Hey. Pass the terror test. Can I doubt I can squeeze in here, huh? Let me try E. Can I go, like, up and around? Is that an option? No. Alright. You're on your own, buddy. Don't die. He's gonna die. There's, like, no, no two ways about it. He's so dead. Or I could try and inflict an all-alone test on him. I think I'm. I should be able to actually. And if he fails it, then he should live, and I should be able to drop the morale right now, and just loot whatever the hell they got in the back of their chest, anyways. All right, let's check the chest first. Pillage their cart. Uh, Madcap mushrooms. I can sell those. Thank you. That's mine now. And steal the enemy's idol. Boom. He gets the Liberator's Boon, and now he can move a little further and stuff. Doesn't really mean much right now, but hey. Actually, it means quite a lot. I covered a lot of ground in those two moves. And I don't know if that dropped him to routing. It did. Oh, uh, nobody down. Got the good chunk of Wordstone. Nothing fantastic. But it's all good. Skaven mentality. Alright. Most valuable warrior. Just for surviving. For surviving. For surviving. For surviving. Nobody's waiting treatment. Um, a blunderbuss. A halibur. Ooh. I know these guys can use the halibur, and that might be a good idea. The halibur hits pretty hard. It's probably one of the hardest hitting weapons you can get on the Skaven, considering their inability to use anything heavy. Do I have a... No, 75. Need 75. Eh. Alright, let's pay up my little rats. Confirm. Alright. Let's see. What is your stuff? You know what? We'll do it. We'll give him a halibur. Uh, it's got a really good crit hit chance, too. 
and I can set him up to use parry still. Alright, I think I will just go to the next day. Uh, armband. What's that do? That thing? Can I put it on you? Oh, I didn't even. Armband. What's that do? check like my inventory or something here I know I can go to the shop and so I don't ever use these like potion things usually the drawbacks are just too bad all right armband what the hell is this uh it cannot be yeah I can't wear this on any of my guys so not even worth keeping and I can't use blunderbuss are there any helmets I'd love to buy some helmets uh yeah, I'll, t I'll take two helmets. Throw them on my Skaven. Confirm. Anything of use? Nope. Alright, let's put their points in. Because he has one. Uh, increases magic resistance by one. Stone resistance by two. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this, because Skaven are cowards. It's just like part of who they are. Alright, there's my halberd wielding psychopath. Confirm, and do I, who do I want the helmets on? I think I want him to have a helmet. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on him as well. We go. The Skaven helmet's pretty cool for like what they're. They don't really cover much though. <laughs> oh well. All right. I think this is probably a good spot to wrap up this episode. I will see you guys later. Bye.